Hi! Saying hi is the hardest part of making a video. I think little people can agree with me. It's the hi that's like impossible to get right. I can't do it. Like, it's, I find saying hello painful. So like, maybe I'll just stop saying hello and then... Like, every time I hear, like, I look back on my videos and I hear, Hi guys! I want to punch myself in the face. Think of something I can say to open my videos instead of, Hi guys! And that would be great. So I know I usually try on the clothes for you in the haul video, but I actually wore most of the things I'm going to show you in um, a lookbook I filmed while I was over there. So if you check out my last video, you can um, see a lot of things on, and I will link it somewhere here. And yeah, so click on that and it'll open in a new window and you can watch that after this and you can see some of the clothes on. So that's great. And also the other things that aren't shown in that, I will have in a lookbook so you'll see them as well. Okay, so yes, I was in Berlin for four days and I bought some clothes and I'm just gonna show you what I got. Woohoo! I'm gonna start with my most kind of exciting purchases because um, I got two things in Brandy Melville and that's a shop that we don't we don't have here in Ireland. I didn't even know it was in the in the in the Europe. I didn't know Brandy Melville was even in Europe. I just thought it was an American shop, so I just stumbled across this one day and I was so excited to go in. I only got two things, but I really like things that I got. I was just really impressed with the shop. Um I just was under the impression it'd be really expensive because the stuff that, you know, an American shop comes to Ireland, like Abercrombie and Hollister and stuff, is it usually ends up really expensive. But this seemed really good value. Like the t shirts were all twenty euro and everything else was between like twenty and forty, which I thought was really good. Um yeah, so first thing I got with these um trousers this is like, I didn't realise Brandy Melville was kind of like one size fits all type um, sizing. Uh, I know there were some bits that did have sizes, like the jeans obviously. But yeah, I kind of was a bit apprehensive about that. But everything kind of fit fine, so that was good. So yeah, it's these uh, trousers. They're elasticated waist. And they have pockets, which I really like. And then they have little elasticated bottom on the end. Little elasticated ends. <laughs> and yeah, they have this flower detailing. It's kind of like an American, an American, it's kind of like an Hawaiian print shirt in trousers. Um, so yeah, I really like them. And these were 42 euro, I think, which is pretty good. And as I said, these are one size fits all. Yeah, the next item is probably going to be hard to show you, but I am in love with this. It is a kimono, which has daisies all over it. Like, yeah, that's fine by me. It has little short sleeves. This is so hard to show you. Yeah, it has short sleeves and then it, it's very long, so hold on. Oh, see? Okay, no, I can't show you how long this is. But yeah, it's a long kimono, I think you get the gist. Um, and it has some slits um, at the sides. This was 41 euro, which I think again is good for kimono. It's a really nice feel. So yeah, that's probably my favorite purchase of my whole trip. I just think it's so nice um, and I can't wait to wear it, yay! If there's a Brandy Melville in like London or something, let me know, comment below because Next time I'm over there, I definitely want to go. So the first is this fluffy jumper. I wouldn't, well, yeah, it is fluffy, I guess. And it's just cream and loose. And it's nice when you roll up the sleeves. Um, this, oh, it's so annoying. This got fluff everywhere. So I wore this one night out in Berlin. It got fluff all over my coat. Now, I mean all over my coat. Every inch of it was covered in fluff. There was fluff getting stuck in my contact lenses. There was fluff getting in my mouth. There was fluff getting stuck to even all David's clothes. It was so annoying. So I need to wash this because I will never wear this again until the fluff needs calms down. So irritating. I like the jumper, but that was really annoying. I got this in a medium, and I think this was a uh, 40 euro. So the other thing I got in Monkey was just a really basic t-shirt, and it's just red with a pocket somewhere. Yeah, over this side. And it's really long. It covers your behind, which is nice. Um, yeah, so nothing amazing here. I think this was 15 euro. So that was good. They had like, I mean, I tried on so many things there. And there's so many things I liked, but I didn't need any of the stuff. So I held back and didn't get them just for the sake of it. So yeah, well done to me for that. Okay, so I'm going to move on to Koss. Um, Koss is probably like one of my favourite shops ever. Um, there's a small one in Dublin, but it's not that big. But I hear there's a new one coming soon, so that's good. And doesn't have any menswear and stuff. So Dave really wanted to go to the Koss in Berlin because it's huge and has menswear. So yeah, I did find it was very expensive. And I don't know, like, I, obviously it's not any cheaper in Dublin, but I felt like when I went into the Dublin store, it felt cheaper. So I don't know. 
maybe they just put their price up a little bit but it did feel a bit expensive to me but I think the quality is very good like in comparison to stuff from Urban Outfitters and Topshop so maybe it is worth spending an extra five euro on a top there if it's going to last so yeah what I got was um this polo neck um jumper hold on now so yeah what I got was this polo neck jumper so it has the usual polo neck uh, top and it is very oversized as you can see and then it has tight sleeves which I really like. I think that just makes it a lot more feminine when the sleeves are tight and then it goes out so you kind of don't look as lost in it. Um, this is just, it's actually really flattering the, the shape of it. I can't really describe it but um, yeah if you want to see this on me then you will just go to my lookbook video I have it on with my uh, Brandy Melville trousers so you can see that. So I got this in a size small because I think um, everything in the cost is actually quite big as well. So you kind of go a size down. That's what I did anyway. Um, this was 50 euro so it was quite expensive. And it's it's thick. It's a nice jumper but it's not like wool or anything. But I still really like this and it does look like really good quality and quite expensive. And then I also got this stripey t-shirt which was on sale. Uh, let's see, I have the tags from this. 30% off 35 so do the math there. I can't do it. Um, but yeah, 20 something. So yeah, it's just stripey and oversized again. Everything I get is pretty much oversized in fairness. Um, and then long sleeves which are nice turned up. I didn't really need this at all because I have loads of stripey tops but you know, whatever. 30% off, I couldn't resist. And I also got a bra in cost and it is this really nice orange, bright orange triangle bra. And oh my god, I kind of want to buy like even more of these. This is the most comfortable bra I've ever worn, like ever. It is so soft that you don't even like notice your, you don't even, what am I trying to say here? It's so soft that you can't even feel that it's on. What? It's so soft that you don't even know you're wearing it. Does that make sense? I think it does. Um, and I really like, what I really like about this is the side of it. Because, hold on, I don't know if this is back to front or what is it? I have no idea. And the side of it, it like it's triangle and then it just goes into this line. <laughs> I don't know how to describe that. My brother and my dad are shooting about a match. I really like the side of this. As you can see, it's like a triangle bra and then it goes into this nice material at the side. See, there's fluff on this. Fluff from that stupid jumper. <laughs> It was 20 euro, I think. Um, oh, it's so nice. I got this in a size small as well. Okay, so that's all from cost. Now moving on to, um, I can't tell you the name of the shop I got these in, but because it was like a small shop, not like a chain, if you get me. So I have no idea what the shop was. But I got a new pair of Nike Air Max. Um, they're already dirty, which is really annoying. But yeah, this is them. So they have the mint green suede here, which is getting dirty, which is annoying. And then they have purple tick. And funnily enough, they've no like Air Max sign at the back or on the inside, which I don't know if I like that much because I like showing off these are Nike Air Max. I don't have a problem with like that kind of thing at all. So I don't know. I was afraid that from the back they might have looked like, I don't know, some sort of knockoff shoe. But then I realized that that's a stupid way to think. And they are really cool. Um, They're actually, oh, let's see that they have, the tongue has, I don't know if you can see, like, purple the purple and green there um they're actually the nike air safari they're not nike air max at all i don't know why i keep saying air max but the nike air safari um yeah i can't tell you what shop i got these in but i'm sure if you like look online somewhere you might they might have them in size or something um and they have a purple bit here as well which i like um these were 110 euro which is not that bad for nikes because a lot of the ones i was looking at over there were like 140 so this wasn't too bad and i mean they're like the comfiest shoe ever i put them on after i bought them and wore them around and they don't hurt whatsoever okay so moving on to a shop called weekday now i just know this um shop as an online shop i don't think i even knew that they were like um had a physical shop or anything so yeah i this was another case of oh my god there's weekday running over so excited and then actually not really seeing anything in there at all i got this um black oversized top so it's just like kind of a, a big tank top um that's quite long i mean you can wear this as a dress with the bodycon skirt underneath um but the back is what's really cool so as you can see here it has like this line down the back and it goes down really low armholes at the side so yeah, I think this would be really cool with like my orange bra or something. Um, maybe more in the summer, I'm not sure. With, um, as I said, like a pair of shorts or bodycon underneath as kind of like a dress. And this was actually only 
50% off 28 euro so it's 14 euro which was really good I definitely wouldn't have paid 28 for this but I kind of wanted to get something from there I also got like three packets of socks they're these kind of um ah what's the name for this I don't know speckled we'll say these kind of speckled um designs and I got them in grey and this red cut up with the greys in the wash and these are three euro for one pair and I got three or four of them they're really nice socks so yeah that was good kind of and there is fluff all over that from the jumper from the fluffy jumper from hell if you have that monkey jumper I swear to god don't even take it out of the bag just throw it in the washing machine Brr, or hand wash it I don't know fluff 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 <laughs> So our last kind of shopping day we went to the flea market in Mower Park. Everyone like recommended us to go there. I always end up like not picking up too many things at flea markets because I get so stressed because it was always so packed and I'm like so bad at haggling so I end up spending too much money and then I don't end up buying things even when they're like what price do you want to pay and I'm walking away I'm still like no it's fine I'm too scared I don't want to say anything. So anyway I did actually end up getting two things there and I didn't haggle for either of them. But, you know, whatever. The thought that I'm really excited about is this jumper. So another polo neck, but it's like really fuzzy and warm and it has like this flower detailing on it. So it's super like, I don't know, I don't know what era this would be, 80s maybe, because it has huge shoulder pads. But yeah, it's like big, big, woolly jump. I don't know what this reminds me of, but it's like something a granny would definitely be into. But like, that's fine by me. And like, I don't know. The colours down here are just so curtainy, and I like that. But yeah, so they have shoulder pads, as you can see, that look ridiculous, so I'll have to cut them out. But that was nine euro, and I think that's really cool. I knew going to Mara Park that I did want to get a pair of boots. Now, the boots that I like are the manly kind of boots. I'm not into feminine boots really at all, um, apart from like my heels ones from nights out. But like for day to day, I like the manliest boots ever. Um, so I wanted a pair of like riding-y boots, like proper riding boots, and I found them. And this is them. So they are riding boots, I guess, and they're brown, and they have nice elastic here. And yeah, I'm really happy with these. But like I put one foot in one of the shoes, I was trying them on, it was like loads of people around, so I didn't want to like put on both of them, which I should have done. And I thought that was fine. And I forgot that my other foot is actually quite bigger. So I got home and I tried them on and I was like, well, these are really tight. So that's annoying. So yeah, they are quite tight. And I looked at the size then because it's really hard to see. And they're size six and I'm size seven. So my amazing purchase isn't so amazing after all. But I think I still might wear them. Like, they're not really tight. They're just not like perfect. So um, I might have to get like, isn't there a thing you can get with stretches boots out? I don't know if you know there's one. If that exists, let me know. Also, if you know anywhere in Ireland that like stocks riding gear that's not really expensive, that I'd be able to get something like this, let me know. Because yeah, I want a pair that actually probably fit. Because I'm sad about these, but yeah, at least I know that they exist. Oh. Size six, bitches. That is pretty much the end of my haul. Um, I have some bits and pieces that, some makeup and some jewelry I want to show you, but I'm going to put it in another haul because I'm sneaky. I don't want this video to be too long to upload. Um, there's one more place I wanted to point out, um, and it's an underwear shop. And hold on, I have the name here. It is called Teasenies, so T-E-Z-E-N-I-S. Um, I just went in there randomly, and they had, like, the most amazing underwear. I'm going to give you a list. I don't want like, to show you my underwear, but, like... They just, you okay, no, that's gross. But uh, they have really nice underwear in there and it's three for 9 90 I think. And they're so good and such good quality. So if you have a Tezenis, Tezenis near you or see one, go in and buy some underwear. I got three pairs and then I came back and I got another six pairs. And yeah, this is a really good deal and they're like really good quality. So that is the end of my Berlin haul and I hope you liked it. And please subscribe if you haven't. And please comment below if you like any of these things or if you don't like any of these things, you know, I'm all up for opinions and all that. And yeah, follow me on Twitter and Instagram and that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, bye.